glasses. They're on your head. Oh. Yeah, right. Where's the newspaper? You're sitting on it. Oh. Uh -huh. Land of Goshen, another baby. Up to me, mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, that's a funny one. Fifty pounds and chop it fine. Mrs. Uncle Bert, what do you mean, fifty pounds and chop it fine? Well, I thought you were Arthur. Who's Arthur? He's the man I intend to marry. Oh, well, don't tell me anything about it. I'm only your father. I can read in the newspaper. What does he do for a living? Well, he's the ice man. An ice man? Yeah, he goes to college. He's a Cornell man. Red Grange was an ice man. He's still an ice man as far as I'm concerned. Put it down there and get out. Okay. Go. And set. Now you're so smart. How are you going to get it in the ice box? I'll put it in myself. Listen. Don't ever do that. Back to me. I've been waiting for you. I'll meet you on the first tee. I'll be up over. Okay, Charlie, okay. I'll be over in a half a track. Okay, come on. Come on. Did you put the ice in the ice box? Yeah. How'd you do it? Well, easy. Where am I going to in your golf bag. Yeah, where's the golf bag? You just fell over it. Yeah, I'll say that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know. And all that good old brand. Well, that's the moment. What's my first appointment this morning? Miss Pippitone at 10.30. Well, I just have time for 18 holes. Where's my cap? You never wear any. Oh, yeah, that's right. Where's the ice? In the ice box. There's just a little piece left. Now I'll have to get some more. Hey, keep that ice man out of here. I'm going to order a fresh of air. Well, that's mine. Oh, yeah. Well, they can't look for it all day. They've been out at 20 minutes now, and I've got to get back to the office half past 10. I'm going to drop another ball. Okay, drop another. If it isn't unfair to either of you gentlemen, I can tell you where the ball is. Where? Under that leaf. Thanks. It isn't in for the rather one of us we've been looking for the ball twenty minutes. Four! I'd wait a minute, they're still on the green. Well, let them get out of the way. This is certainly a great game for your help. Ball lying in a sprinkler connection may be dropped without penalty, no near the hole. Get those teeth out of that too, they're right in my line. Two. 
You can't do that. What do you mean I can't do it? Read the card. You had two in the war. What? Don't. You had two. Don't quibble. Don't quibble. Don't quibble. Don't quibble. Don't. Snappy little hole, don't you think so? Yes, it is. Turn him Rashi Nublet. Rashi Nublet. Oh. 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 Right there, having a basket party over there? Look at those ducks. Oh, how are they going to close down for that thing? Don't stand there. Stand over there. Those ducks have thrown me off. All the way again. Don't stand behind me when I'm shooting. You told me to stand over there, sir. Never mind where I told you to stand. You stand where I tell you. That kid's a dummy that doesn't know what time it is. Hey, by the way, what time is it? I don't know. 10.15. Shut up, will you? Now stand clear and keep your eye on the ball. Oh, wait, you can't do that. What do you mean I can't do that? I can do anything I want to do. Protect this golf course. Hello, Joe. Hi, Doc. How about a little golf? Uh, I just threw my clubs away. <laughs> what, again? Yeah, the funniest thing happened. I'm taking my second stroke. I beat an old geezer on the sconce with my ball. Right near the green was headed for the pin. The ball rolls back into a water connection. I pick it up, drop it over my shoulder. It dribbles down into the hole. I'm down in two. Well, uh... What do you mean, well? I gave me the same argument. I'm down in two. Look at the back of the car. They wanted me to do it over again after I had a fine drop. All right, so well, I... <laughs> oh, my. Good night, darling. Where's the soap? It's in your hand. Hello? Oh. <laughs> How about tomorrow, Doc? Uh, what time? Oh, about. No, I won't be able to go. Why not? I'm going duck shooting. Well, I went along. And I said, boy, you should have been there. I took this mashing nibbling. I took this straight shot to the pen. It beams this old geezer. Down into the water connection it goes. Coming back. Oh! What a hell of that. Drops into the water connection. I pick it up and drop it over my shoulder and down into the hole it goes. Well, I'll give you a ring tomorrow, Doc. Okay. Well, they up. He's got a fried eggs on the back of his neck. Say your ring. How you doing? Do you sit down? Put it in here, please. You won't hurt my leg, will you? My doctor says I have a very bad leg. Your doctor is off his nut. I don't believe in doctors anyway. There's a doctor who lives right down the street here. Treated a man for yellow jaundice for nine years. Then found out he was a chap. You know a little dog bit me Dr. the other Kuta. day. He bit me right here. Dog bit you? Yes. It was a little bash hound. Oh, yeah. A little tiny dog. Mm -hmm. And he came right up behind me and bit me right like that. Mm -hmm. And I was standing with my back to it, and here he was, this little dog, mm -hmm. and bit me right here. You're rather fortunate it wasn't a Newfoundland dog that bit you. You sit down. Shall I use gas? Well, gas or electric light. I'd feel nervous to have you fool around me in the dark. <laughs>
And I was in front of her now. I just wasn't looking at her. <laughs> Come on, come on now. I'll try not to be so cruel this time. Come on, come on. Oh, Doctor, I can't let you do that again. Mm. She has a three o'clock appointment. I wouldn't care if she had a four o'clock appointment. Bar when I was in Dodge Ealing, oh, it was tight as hell. Tell her I'm out. Don't go out there and tell her I'm out. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Sit down. When I tell you to go out and tell one of these palookas that I'm out, go out and tell them I'm out. Don't have these buzzards walk in on me. I'd when I don't want to see them, I don't. Just come in for the line. Haven't I seen your face somewhere before? Well, probably you've seen me at the horse show. Jackie? Sir? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Can you open your mouth? Uh, come on now. You've got a bigger mouth than that open it. Hmm. Oh, beautiful. Hmm. Hand me that uh, 404 circular bus saw, will you? Mm -hmm. Dropping, 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 dropping. Is that a 404 conical thing? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, 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 stop it in uh, Pardon me for just a moment. You wouldn't let Arthur come here to see me, so I'm going to see him. Excuse me a moment, folks. Uh, Keep you waiting? <laughs> you said a mouth for that. Open your little friends just a moment there. Eh? Are your lines busy? Oh, wow.
it came out easily, didn't it? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It was a surprise to me. Open your uh, open mouth. Uh, excuse me, just, uh... Open that door! I can't, you locked me in! Where's the key? In your pocket! Huh? Oh. Huh? 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 Oh! I think it's downstairs! Two strikes on the boys, eh? And it's about him? Thank you. I can't find his mouth. Hand me that stethoscope, will you? Will you say ah, please? Ah, again? Ah, again? Ah, I almost had a cake again. Ah, ha, ah, oh, ah, 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 it is. Ah, and a very pretty thing too. <laughs> Let me see now. Hand me that drill. Thank you. Now just open your mouth. Can't hurt. Okay. You can't say that hurt you. Oh, you're the guy that hit my pot in the head. Yes, you want to make anything out of it? 
I'd like to see you do that again. Is it necessary for him to do it again? No. <clears throat> Father, you're not really going to buy a fridge there, are you? Fifty pounds will make it snappy. 